Hi there Aquarius. Hey, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot. And today we are going to do a reading for the upcoming week in January 2021. Ooh, let's see what's popping out. The Knight of Coins. Okay. This is the one about preparation and if he's the slowest knight. He's the one that really is ready and makes sure things are well cared for. Take that how it resonates. We'll be using Marchetti's Tarot of Dreams and Grand Lux. I think this is the Grand Lux in my hand right now. And we'll, we'll start with this one. We'll see what's going on. So we'll take a little look at what's going on for you currently. We'll look at what's coming at you. Then maybe have a little bit of advice. We might tap into some Oracle decks. Let's take a look. For Aquarius. Collective of Aquarius. Okay. This is what we've got here, guys. We've got the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Six of Swords. So currently what's that showing is you're taking time to emotionally um, go further, to go separately somewhere else. Um, this is a time when you're taking a journey, obviously, mind, mental journey, moving towards something in this deck, moving away from emotional um, stagnation perhaps, or heartache, those kinds of things, and moving more towards the sunlight. Now, in between these two things, you have this kind of um, fantasy um, dreamy kind of energy, uh, not making choices, not grounded type of energy going on. So currently, I think the challenge is to be more emotionally grounded, to use your mind to move forward. And that's kind of what's going on for you currently. Now, let's take a look at what is coming at you next week. If this week's challenge is, yes, it's difficult to get grounded. Let's see what's going on for next week. Okay, next week. Ooh, we've got a bonus here. Let's flip these. Okay, next week we have... The Three of Coins, the Nine of Swords, the Five of the Cups, and the Devil Energy. So, what we're looking at here is um, putting in hard work, creativity, teamwork, making plans. All of those things are going to be required. Part of the challenge will be mental anxiety, too many thoughts, not being able to let go of something, being in your head about something, worry, sometimes fear, um, not getting the rest you need. All of these things add up to anxiety and kind of mental looping. The Five of Cups is here talking about loss, talking about sorrow, emotional things where there's been spills, there's been grief, and not seeing the two other cups that are right there. This is a time where you're looking back and eventually you have to start looking forward. The devil energy is coming in here where there's this toxic thing, this unhealthy thing, perhaps an unhealthy habit or behavior. And what that's reflecting is that you keep on looking back. You keep yourself chained to these older emotions. You're not moving forward when you're being asked to. So let's see what we can find for advice for you. We're going to stay in this deck for now, and then we'll look at some oracles. Whoa, that one popped. The Knight of Swords wants to come. And you have the Four of Cups. Let's see what else we've got here for you. You know, that one's kind of... All right, so you have the Knight of Swords coming out. This is truth, justice, um, charging in, being singular in your focus, taking action. This is what this Knight of Cups is, or Knight of Swords is about. Then you have the Four of Cups where he's looking heavenward. He's seeing this one cup, something's being offered. And often in this, you see a little bit of boredom and dissatisfaction. In this one, this guy's almost pleading for this next emotional step to be allowed to come in. And he's not looking at these three here. He understands that they're there, but he's looking for something a little higher. Then you have the Nine of Cups coming in, 
almost as a counterbalance to this Nine of Swords anxiety that you've had here. And this Nine of Cups is all about, hey, let's toast this. We're content. We're satisfied. Um, the devil energy is being oversatisfied and smug. The Nine of Cups is celebrating and having room to celebrate with others. It's a joyful time. It's very emotionally fulfilling time. So that's what we're looking at here. Let's take a look a little bit more. We're going to look in the um, Chakra Wisdom Tarot. And this is kind of a newer one, but it's kind of interesting. We'll see if there's some chakras coming up for Aquarius that might um, need a little more TLC. Okay. All right. So what we're seeing here is Crown Chakra, King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords is all about structure, looking long term, being visionary, thinking down the track. Um, being clear-minded and it looks like this actually landed right here in the reverse this might be challenging for you you might need to remember teamwork and that might be the very challenge that there is is working together with others then you have the emperor and he's all about the controlling energy um, the emperor is in the is it throat chakra I believe it is the throat chakra one two three four yeah I think so um the Emperor is all about control and what you do to create order. Again, a calling out to create order, right? So this dreaminess that you've been experiencing or this dream state you've been experiencing needs to be let go of so you can move forward and then have order and structure so you know where you're going. You don't want to navigate this and have yourself in a situation. All these sharp swords are here and you're having to navigate through them. It's not easy water. The Emperor and the devil in combination it's too much control not being open enough to different energies different ideas different points of view so that would be the cautionary i would say for that one let's take a little look at um we're gonna look at the sacred rebels oracle too and see whoa okay power of attraction there could be some kind of thing going on relationship wise there and look some more okay and conscious connections this is about being very aware of yourself and how you are in the world this is very aware of your own beauty your own assets making those connections with yourself and with others this is about the power of attraction what you're drawing in what you're magnetizing who you're dealing with who's around you and what kind of energy you want to surround yourself with that's big stuff kind of explains a lot of these cups here and also a little bit of this anxiety and this desire to move forward. All right. Be aware of this and mindful in relationship to this, okay? Okay, we're going to look maybe at this one. This is the Sacred Earth Oracle. Let's see if there's anything else that could be an area where you could focus to grow for this upcoming week to 10 days. I like to put it out for 10 days just in case people find it um, start of the week, midweek, beginning of the week, whatever that is for them perceptions okay okay if we take this card perception and put it with here with this nine of swords it could be anxiety about how we're being perceived the conscious connection the power of attraction all that kind of stuff if we let our minds spin out and our heads spin out then we don't really have a clear understanding of what's going on if we have the conscious connection our perception of ourself is a little more true we're able to see our own beauty regardless of the situation. Is there anything else I want to speak to on that? Not necessarily right now. Let's look again in the Sacred Earth Oracle, see what's going on with that. As far as perception goes for the Aquarius. Context, okay. All right. Very helpful, putting this here. This is the trick, this is the challenge, here and here. Knowing the context that you're working within, not knowing which emotions that you um, need to honor right now, and having turbulence, that is very, very challenging and it's coming through in these cards. Figure out where you wanna put the energy, figure out how to shift your focus, how to get out of this other unpleasant adversarial type of energy. Um, context 
who's supporting, who's helping, context, how do you focus and move forward, context, where do you find that divine alignment in the perception of what needs to have order in your world, not ruling with outright control, but ruling with a tenderness and a gentleness because you understand the context, you have the perception to bring teamwork in and still accomplish what needs to be accomplished and use that crown chakra energy and the third eye energy so you can see down the track and know what's going on. That's what I've got for you, Aquarius. I hope that is helpful. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. Come back again. Bye, guys.